at movies from an expert's perspective. We're thinking beyond movies. Where's cinema headed? Let's find out. It's On Cinema at the Cinema with me, your host, Tim Heidecker. Hi, everybody. My name is Tim Heidecker, and uh, this is On Cinema at the Cinema. Uh, thank you for joining us as we talk about the new movies coming to theaters near you, give you the inside scoop on what to see and what to not see. Um, all right. Uh, I'm with uh, my guest is Greg Turkington. Co-host Greg Turkington. Hey, guys. Co-host Greg uh, Turkington. Good to see you and good to be back on uh, yet another exciting episode of Movie Expertise Provided the Way You Like It, Honestly. Yes, and uh, let's just get a lot of news coming, a lot of news happening uh, with the show. Last week was a big success. We were back and we... Ratings we, are up. We proved that this show was sort of essential, I think, to, uh, to the public and, and has the potential to be something really powerful and really strong. Which it has been, but and it's just getting better. And, well, you can take over if you want to explain what's going on. I'll just... Well, this is strange. <clears throat> I got a call. Uh, you know about it, but I got a call out of the blue uh, after the last episode from uh, Mark Dwyer, your old attorney. Mm -hmm. um, and he wanted to uh, talk to me about kind of an interesting proposal. He put me on speakerphone with Bruce Delgado and the two of them said that the Delgados want this show to continue. They see it as a possible revenue earning stream for them. They've set up a company called uh, Delgado Media Holdings, uh, DMH, and uh, they needed somebody to kind of supervise and produce the show and make sure that uh, the quality is still Which there. Which is something that I've been doing, by the way, with the show for right. About but they have some years they have now, some issues so. with you, so well, okay, you know, because of what happened. I mean, uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's like uh, well, they feel yeah, that no, you're know, responsible know, no, for their I, son's death, so uh, okay. they, they, you know, uh, just I mean, I can't do any, I can't say anything right here, and I, I'm not allowed to. So go ahead. Tell well, me. I think the offer that they made to me is very generous, as far as you're concerned, which is that they. We're going to let you keep doing the show with me. We're going to do it business as usual. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to give me a little bit more control in terms of how many movies get reviewed, how many popcorn classics, that sort of thing. And they don't want to hear uh, a lot of negativity about mm -hmm. uh, them or their son, mm -hmm. who, as I say, they feel that you were responsible for his death. So, yep. I, th yep. I, so I think this is a good opportunity to yep. kind of reboot this this series mm -hmm. and make it more movie centric, which Delgado's aside is what I think this show has needed for a long, long time. And I think that the ratings and the uh, audience approval will reflect that in a hurry. And so. Okay. Well, that's, that's enough on that. Okay. Well, that's the story. It's gonna, it's, it's, it's win win for everybody. Sure. And win win for your, everybody. Okay. Well, I'm not, um, I'm not, hey, I, I, did I say, oh, you're no longer the host? No, I you've made like me that. a generous offer, and I appreciate mm -hmm. it. Thank you very much. And you'll be doing just what you always do, and you've always been great at it. It's just that we'll have less of some of the extraneous topics. And well, the, we'll go where the show you goes. You know, the that's phony, I think, uh, But I think you should be clear about something. Vitamin junk. Well, that sponsorship has, is not happening anymore. Well, yeah. We you, should be clear you, about you something, very though. very sick from that we stuff. We are going to go where the show goes. Right. Well, the show's going to go to three. New movie reviews okay. each week, two popcorn classics. One of the big changes that I proposed to Bruce Delgado, um, and again, he said, I don't need, I don't, you don't need my approval for this stuff. You've been on this show for years, you know how it best works. I said, I think what we should do is have two popcorn classics per episode. I do one and Tim does one. That's what we're doing. And, and you know, he said, I don't know anything about that, but if that's what you want, that sounds good to me. So that's what we're gonna do. Very good. So that's the news. Greg's in charge. The man, what are you, the managing director of Delgado Me uh, Media Holding Company? That's right. Yeah, congratulations. But I'm still, I, you know, we're still co-hosts, mm -hmm. like we always have been, and that that hasn't changed. And I, I don't think there's any reason for you to feel bad about any of this. It's going to be business as usual, except business is going to be better than usual. So yeah. well, this I'm is going to be fun. <laughs> yep. Uh, well. No not more exactly the Dakar way I and DKR and all that. That's one thing where I'm going to put my foot down, but that's fine. All right. You done? Can I do my job now? Yeah. Life of the Party, uh, directed by Ben Falcon, starring the great Melissa McCarthy, Jill, Julie Bowman, Bowen, Jill Gil Gilligan, Gilligan Jacobs, uh, Gilligan Jacobs, and uh, 
Maya Rudolph. Okay. When her husband suddenly dumps her, dedicated housewife Deanna, Deanna goes back to college, plunging headlong into campus experience. Deanna embraces freedom, fun, and frat boys on her own terms. Uh, this was a, a Melissa McCarthy comedy vehicle, a very funny one at that. And I think uh, she's, again, proving herself to be sort of the John Belushi of the female gender in the terms of um, outrageousness. But does she sing? Because John Belushi, of course, was with the Blues Brothers, and uh, it started out as kind of a fun thing and ended up having some hit records, too, mm -hmm. and a great movie, two movies. I give it five bags of popcorn for Life of the Party. Life of the Party, I think, uh, well, yeah, definitely five bags of popcorn. I'm also going to say that if the Oscars would get with the modern world and have a, an award for best comedy, this would be a shoe in If they would get with the modern world and have an award for best all-female cast, this again would be the movie to win. Uh, and so it's really incumbent on Oscar to get it together. Uh, in terms of awards that I would give, I would give it every award in the book, and that includes the coveted five bags of popcorn. Very good. Our next movie is Breaking In, directed by James McTeague, starring Gabriel Union, Billy Burke, Richard Cabral. A woman fights to protect her family during a home invasion, basically a, a watch-out story, a, 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 a uh, be careful what you wish for story, I suppose. I don't think anyone's wishing to have their home broken I'd, into. Well, okay. Yeah. Any thoughts on this? When I first saw the title, I said, oh, good, finally a, a sequel to Breaking Away, mm. which you might remember from 1979, I think. Mm. Uh, but it's, it's nothing like that. That was a film about a bicyclist, essentially, a, okay. a teenage bicyclist. And this is kind of a horror film about... Uh, uh, home invasion and uh, it's it's really quite unpleasant at times but uh, that's kind of what going to the movies is all about is experiencing different types of things and some of them can't be fun that's no reason to dock the score though because it's a very well-made movie and I will give it five bags of popcorn all right thanks again for watching and uh, we'll be back well, let's next. do the popcorn classics So uh, we've got two of them for you today, and this is one of the changes that you'll start to notice as the rest of the season progresses. Uh, Popcorn Classics, I think, has been, uh, of all the cards and letters that I get, and I get a lot of them, this is the, the issue that people seem to agree on the most, is we need more Popcorn Classics, not less. Okay, well, I'll go first. Um, this is Popcorn Classic uh, Mystery Men. Mystery Men. And uh, that's uh, basically a spoof of, of uh, superhero movies with Hank Azaria and Ben Stiller and, uh, and PG-13. So it had a little bit of risky, a little bit of cursing in it. It was kind of cool. What's and the running time? 105, looks like 105 minutes. It's an hour, hour 45, so it's a good, good length movie. Yep, and what's yours? Uh, I've got An Eye for an Eye, directed by John Schlesinger, who, of course, you know from Midnight Cowboy, which we've discussed many times on this show. Uh, it stars Sally Field, who's got a couple Oscars in her closet, and uh, Kiefer Sutherland, son of Donald Sutherland. So this is a thriller about the search for justice in an unjust world. Thank uh, you very 100 much. And 100 and two, 102 minutes. So that would be an hour and I'm just 42 that, minutes. Okay. All right, I'm worried that this isn't this isn't working. Um, and very well-reviewed movie. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. I think it was John Schlesinger's final movie. Thanks, and we'll be back next week with more movie reviews. Three. I don't think two popcorn classics makes any sense. It's a drag. Mm -hmm. People don't want to care about how long a movie is. Let's let the Delgados decide. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs>